How's it going everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have uh, I got an email yesterday. Oh, and I forgot, um, or almost forgot. If you're a fan of vintage gold and silver, you might want to subscribe and click the bell notification because tomorrow I'm going to be unboxing a bunch of vintage gold and silver that I scored. It might be Monday, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be tomorrow because, uh, yeah. It's going to be cool, so subscribe, hit the bell. You can get rid of the bell notification after you see the video. I, I don't like it being notified all the time, too, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, I was thinking about these. There's a lot of gold and silver challenges out there right now, and uh, those are super fun. There's like a, oh man, your favorite two-ounce silver bar, Liberty Bleeds Silver, um, Dub C Coins, those two channels, uh, Silver Struck, uh, my I'm, I have my fractional gold fiesta so many different challenges out there um, it's hard to partake in all of them I want to do all of them but I can't so I I do these little challenges myself with for myself um, and I started thinking I was trying to get some different stuff out of the out of storage just to uh, to show on the channel and replace it with the stuff I normally show which I still have to complete but I had a couple of other things to show anyway ramble complete so I was thinking they'd be kinda cool I do these challenges myself I've got a five ounce silver bar uh, monster box kind of a personal little yeah, I guess you could call it a challenge it's something with myself where I just I buy uh, I bought one of the uh, Perth mint the kangaroo monster box they're blue and they hold 250 um, ounces in the tubes um, from per, from the Perth Mint for the kangaroos. Man, I can't talk today. I need coffee. But I'm going to finish this video. I'm going to do it. And so I'm filling up this uh, monster box with just five ounce bars. I've got some of uh, the first mint bars in there and some vintage bars. Um, I'm going to put this one in there that I got from Haley Bug Mint, which is super cool. So I'm just filling up this. Uh, it's, I guess it's like a mini monster box. Um, this is the Enchantress from Haley Bug Mint. These things are so cool. Thick and beautiful. So I'm filling up this monster box. They hold 250 so it's not as big as a regular like maple monster box or American Silver Eagle monster box. And so I thought it would be fun to do like a two ounce. Uh, the same thing. The Perth Mint, the smaller monster box with the uh, and just fill it with two ounce pieces. Just different stuff. Here's a Here's a couple more. I got these that I was going to put in my Halloween box, which I probably should. Two troy ounces. These sugar skulls. I really like these. But maybe these will... So I've got different monster boxes with different things. I've got one with just vintage. I've got one with just Halloween stuff. I've got one for, you know, the the ones that I filled up and put in storage, the American Silver Eagle one and Maple one, Britannia and Philharmonic. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to have, have them sorted by weight. So I don't know if these will go in the Halloween box or the two ounce box. I still have to order the box, but it'd be kind of fun. And then I thought 100, 100 gram. I've been really liking 100 gram um, bars lately, especially after I, I just got that, well, now I don't have it here. A Degusa um, that I unboxed on the channel a few days ago. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a 100, a 100 gram bar box. So let me know if you sort your stuff that way. And I also got a question from a YouTube viewer. Uh, we'll call him Bill. He says, hey man, my name is Bill. I watch your YouTube videos. Do you have any way of getting small bullion in and out of the USA? In and out of the USA? Seems to be a problem nowadays. Any advice? And, uh, well, I'm not sure about getting stuff in and out of the country. I know there's limits on like $10,000. I think you can't travel with ten thousand, more than $10,000. Which, and I know some people will say, well, a gold buffalo's only got a denomination of 50 bucks. I think they go off the value. Pretty sure it's not not going to be the way you want it. It's going to be the way they see it. And I'm not sure if it's clearly defined. 
but I said I, I, I wasn't sure, um, but I sent my, when I sent my gold to uh, Strategic Wealth Preservations, they sent me a shipping label and insurance and all that stuff. I had to pay, I had to pay for it, um, but that's to be expected. I paid for a shipping label and insurance for the, the gold, and uh, they took care of all that. But getting it in and out of the USA, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why you would want to do it. I guess if you want to carry a couple tenth ounce, you know, gold Britannias with you in case a zombie apocalypse breaks out while you're on vacation in Portugal, then that would kind of probably be okay. I wouldn't imagine they'd have a problem with a couple tenth ounces. But if you're trying to take volume, like a monster box of of American gold eagles, I don't think I don't think I'd do it. I mean, you could sell your gold if you want to get it out of the country and buy it in the country destination but uh he's he replied to my reply saying thanks uh i really appreciate the blah 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 and do you trust a cayman company and it's like strategic wealth preservation and of course it's always there's always risk with a third party but it's a private vault um and I don't have a affiliate code or a referral code, but it's just strategic wealth preservation. When I go out there to do my audit, which I will videotape or do a few vlogs while I'm out there, um, they've wanted to meet with me about doing an affiliation. And so far, I mean, I haven't found any vaults that actually are better. So, and I've researched them all and try, and I've used another one in Switzerland, but. I don't know. SWP seems to be doing the best for me, at least. Uh, so look out for that. So hopefully that helps with the question. I guess you might want to make a YouTube video and ask ask it with more specifics. I also got these are Haley Bug Mint two ounce pieces just to get back onto an old subject from the beginning of the video. I got a couple of these. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. I was looking to see if there's a... I've got the assay card for these somewhere. They're, they give, come with little COAs, I think. But check out the artwork on this thing. Two ounce. And I think these were... I think this was 80 bucks delivered. It was only 40 bucks an ounce for for premium hand-done stuff like this. That's totally worth it, in my opinion. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any weird storage techniques, or do you store by weight or by mint? Um, I thought it'd be kind of just a kind of a fun challenge, but I I do need to get back to bulk, um, low premium buying. I am work. I'm also working on a a Krugerrand, a silver Krugerrand monster box, which I haven't bought any for that. Probably in the last eight months. <laughs> so there's so many different challenges and so many different avenues. How do you pick which one to do? I don't know. So I guess my theory is uh, if you can't pick, just do them all. <laughs>